Hello, Internet people. I am Meteor Bolt, about to strike with episode part nine, I should say, of my video series titled Engineering a Path, in which I am attempting to... Interesting, I saved while riding the horse, but it w took me off of the horse. Anyway, uh... I am attempting to take an interesting path through The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Let's see, which way am I going? I am heading to Rito Stable. Gosh, which way is it? Wait a minute, I'm gonna just check my adventure log. Regional phenomena. Yeah, it says it's up there, so I need to take a right. I think I almost just went the wrong way. We are going to ignore that NPC. Uh, anyway, so taking a different path through the game went for the full set of barbarian armor rather early. Didn't get our um, trusty paraglider until later. And we are on our way to the Lucky Clover Gazette because that is part of the steps we need to take to be able to upgrade our armor. Yeah. We're gonna stop and help out Sign Man just because he's just so needy. Alright. Alright. What do we have? We just have some boards and some planks. Well, let's start with a solid base. Why did the horse just leave? Where are you going? Ah, all right, whatever. Okay, we're gonna do this, I think. And then put a board up through this top part. That should prevent it from falling over. Uh. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. It rotated quite a bit, but it still uh. counts. Now, I guess after we get the Lucky Clover Gazette quest line ah. started and we start upgrading our armor, then Whoa. we can start uh, start getting our first sage because if we don't get a sage, then we can't get our sensor is another very important thing to have. We already have our Hyrule Compendium, so I need to remember that because I need photos of lots of things like horses. There were some red bokoblins back there too I should have photographed. Are you a friendly? Yeah. Glendo. You know, there used to be an awful, I mean awful, thunderstorm raging throughout this whole area. It never let up until recently it did, which is why I was able to come here. Ah. Now that it's safer, maybe I should climb a tall tree and scope things out. That's right, there wasn't. What the heck? 
why was there a bat? I mean, a keys antagonizing my horse. Never mind. Let's go to there. There's a stable up ahead. A shrine. All kinds of goodies. We already got the tower in this region. What does this sign say? Due to recent attacks on folks who are distracted by dropped objects, be careful, pay attention to your surroundings. And don't go care carelessly poking around suspicious objects. I don't remember reading that sign before. Alright, we're gonna head. You know, we don't even need to go around to get to that shrine because we can just descend from underneath. Ooh, and there's a Korok here. Now, maybe the Korok wants to go up the hill. No, he wants to go b back that way. Well, it's backtracking a little bit. And we don't have a towing harness. I do have this very nifty cart. Alright, we're just gonna use this cart. Wait, how are we gonna tow the cart? We really need to get a towing harness. I'm gonna I'm gonna have the I'm gonna have the horse equipped with the towing harness real quick. can get our free points too for being oh. the first time at the yeah. stable. Oh. Oh. Customize horse. Mm. Oh. Yep. We just want the towing harness. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. oh. That's it. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna park this horse right here. We need to make sure he stays attached. Okay. Just because this isn't that much of a detour. And this cart was all right here, ready for us to use. Is it missing a wheel or something? It's driving here. Maybe my horse is just really slow. Lovely little detour. Interesting, by talking to the Korok, I made the cart stop. The horse kept moving. Interesting. Okay. I think that's a copy of Sign Man up on that hill. Or that's just a fortress. Yeah, it might just be an enemy fortress. It's too tall to be signed, man. Oh, fine. Forgot that they buck you off if you try to 
drive them too hard. Yeah. I mean, not too hard. It's just hard enough. Huh. Just trying to toughen him up is all. Huh. Oh, oh. Huh. Whoa, that was weird. Okay, so... I think this is a... Quest or something? Alright, then I'll take them. Oh, do you need to speak with Banji? Apologies, we were caught up in our conversation. I'm from Rito Village to the northwest. Uh. Times are tough where I'm from. Merchants aren't able to reach my village because of the blizzard. We're fortunate the f kind folks from the stable are sharing their supplies with us. <laughs> it's thanks to them that the children still have full bellies. Uh. Don't mention it, really. The Rito have been good neighbors to us. We're just returning the favor. And let me know if there's anything else you need, all right? I can arrange to have it sent here and then pack it up for you to carry home. Oh. Words cannot express my gratitude. Oh. Alright, maybe it's not a quest yet. Oh. Okay, where can oh. we ascend? Mm, ascending right here. Hot. Oh. Hot. Should be able to do it from right, right here. <laughs> There's Rito Village. It's fun doing a bunch of shrines wearing the barbarian armor. I don't think I had all the barbarian armor until I did, like, close to all the shrines, if not all of them. Combat training archery. Hard to, hard to get here without doing archery. The shrine purifies the ancient evil. You who have entered here, heed my instruction. Steady your aim and fire at the enemy's head. Your other attacks are ineffective here. Ready yourself. Firing at his head is easier said than done with the three eyeballs. Well done. Now I have to hit. Do not fear the approaching enemies. Fire true and strike their heads. Hmm. I didn't notice before that I can make this even easier using a sand here. Since, bizarrely, aiming in midair is a lot easier than aiming on the ground. You have proven your mastery, now proceed to the innermost chamber. I don't need all those Zonite swords. I like to have a few, though. They are really nice. Uh, 
let's see. We have a weaker construct bow. Let me get rid of. I honestly think it's a little bit prettier in Breath of the Wild when you get a spirit orb than when you get a light of blessing. Something about, about the blue or the way the blue box shatters into a bunch of little shards of light. Here's another Korok. And then what is this? Oh, eggs. All right, do I need the horse still? Well, it helps. So I will have them take his harness off. Oh no, I didn't mean to talk to you. I meant to talk to the stable guy. Oh. Remove harness. Good, good. It looks like he's 98% trained. I just need him to disobey just a little bit more so I can fully train him. Alright, wait a minute. There's a Korok somewhere around these holes in the bridge. Oh, I think that's a core rock right underneath here. This rock. Oh, sorry, buddy. Now, getting back up there is going to be a little bit annoying. Just a teensy. Just have to do a little bit of climbing. Climbing is so Breath of the Wild. With Ascend being the wave of the future. Uh oh. Is it raining? It's raining all of a sudden. Oh, great. Okay, okay. You know what? Haha! -ha. I just outsmarted the game. Don't wanna let me climb back up? Fine, I'll just warp back up. Makuri Makuru Kis Island or Shrine. Whatever. <laughs> Ah, we need to check out this well. Wells are always fun and useful to explore. Oh, this is the well lady. I haven't talked to her yet, maybe. 
Water quality, fair. Moss growth, extensive. Bright caps present. All right, that's everything. I'll jot it down. Uh? Huh? What are you doing in a place like this? Although, I'm in a place like this. Hey, you wouldn't happen to be a well enthusiast, would you? Ma? Of course. <laughs> yep, and I get the quest uh, for uh. finding the 58 wells. <gasps> All right, I found several wells, so here's Ma? four of them. I, there must be, I mean, uh, obviously there are multiple locations I can run into her. I wonder how many, though. Because I think I originally ran into her underneath Lookout Landing. All right, I guess he's sink. Do I have anything I can put a rock on the end of? Hmm, no, I already have a boulder boomerang. Oh, what's here? What's here? It's gotta be something fun. Came all this way. All right, good. We need more rupees, so... Wow, we're already... We're all the way over here. This is an important person. She's talking about Misko's treasure. Yeah. This is Mishi. Yeah. Hello there. I hope your travels are treating you well. She's going to give me the locations of some of Misko's treasures. A quite stylish outfit. Very snappy outfit. And, oh, she doesn't even mention the barbarian oh. armor. Yeah, I know, the great fairies. Yep, yep, ah. yep, yep. So, was, all right. Wasn't I just in this cave? No, I guess not. I must have just skipped it. No, I was in there. Why didn't I get the armor? Well, I'm gonna have to turn around and get that next after the next shrine I get to. All right. Also, there's another Korok somewhere here. Yep. <laughs> Did 
I say hanging from a nut? I meant it's a nut hanging from a rope. Well, I didn't see it. Not entirely sure it wasn't there, but we'll find it later. We are gonna solve sign man's trouble again. We are such generous people. Why did the horse go so far away? <sighs> doesn't... Doesn't quite do it, does it? What if we just attach one of these to the top of a long piece like that? I mean, that just about works. Attach it a little lower, I think. Like that. To this now maybe it works. Yep. I plan to make a series of videos sometime about how to solve all of these. I mean, there's 81 of them, so it's, it'll be either a very long video or a long series of videos. I also want to try and solve each one in a much funnier way, too. There's a shrine. Let's just use the shrine symbol here, which is that. For me, anyway. Let's grab some butterflies. Oh, and let's get some photographs. Marado wolf. Any more of the butterflies around? Butterflies are some of the hardest things to photograph. Yikes. So my horse fell down this cliff, apparently. <laughs> Alright, you know what? So much for using the horse right now. We're gonna continue on foot. Wait, unless we can get him to come back up here. No, doesn't look like we can. Little mini game we can play if we talk to that person there. But we don't need to do that. While we're here, we 
can help another member of the musical troupe. But I'm inclined maybe to wait and do it later. these guys, but I just wanted them out of the way when I got five arrows as a reward, so that was worth it. Has to be a Korok in here. Well, I would think somewhere around here. Oh! Oh, good. This mighty thistle is going to be very, very good to have because I was wondering where to get it. It's almost like I planned this out on purpose. We need a lot of it to upgrade the barbarian armor. I'm going to mark this location so we can come back here later and get more if we need to. I guess I'll mark it with sword, because it's mighty thistle. Wow, perfect. I struggled to find any mighty thistle for a long time when I first played this. We are going to try and get this band member out of this hole. It's a rescue. Yeah, we're going to rescue you by making this thing float. So, I think... Just to put this on the roof. Kind of think we just need one of these. Not sure why they give you two. Also need to let's see. Do we need to land him or just get him out of the hole? I don't remember. So I think All right, this is a little bit of a camera. The one thing in this game, I think, is the most recurring issue that I run into is camera issues when Link is standing close to a wall. Alright, try and get in. Start from here. Hang on. 
on. <laughs> Don't roll away. Wait, what is going on with the... Okay. Oh! Why didn't I notice that? They were pointed completely in the wrong direction. That is a rookie mistake. Everyone forget that Meteor Bolt did that, guys. Oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, okay. Apparently, using too much energy. So, let's get rid of one of these fans. Do we have any batteries we can attach? If I can attach some batteries. No, no batteries. Huh. We did. That's probably not going to work. I guess I kind of have to go with it. Okay, so the really the only thing I can really think of is to come back and do this with more oh. batteries. Which is fine because I've already helped two band members, so I don't need this one's help for quite a while. We're gonna mark the spot though. This is an area where the shrine sensor goes off constantly, and yet you can't find any kind of cave entrance or any way to find where the shrine might be, because it's way in a, in a cave that starts here, way underneath, over here.
Let's get a photo of this fox. Sometimes you gotta photograph things and then shoot them. You know, such is life. Take a little shortcut. Could even go. Oh, I forget. I forgot we don't have the Zora armor. We could try to climb that waterfall. Probably best if we just continue to follow this path. There's something up in that cage. I don't think it's really important though. This is another unimportant enemy camp that we don't really have to bother. Oh. I can get a photo of a red bokoblin here. I don't have one yet. the wheat. That means we can cut the grass here and get more. Fancy seeing you here once again. Got a nice sturdy sign here. Definitely not going to fall over side to side. So we can make a really simple structure here. not gonna work. Need it like this. Ah! Oh, my friend, uh, Utilitimo is streaming. Not that that's relevant to anyone watching this video because it would be definitely not happening right now. Anyway, you should go check out Utilitimo on Twitch. He's a good guy. He likes to stream League of Legends. All right, we have another bridge here, which is another another core rock right there. And my favorite way to get this is like this. Headshot on this wolf. No, no headshot.
Dang it, I should have gotten a photograph of you before I shot you. Sorry. Oh, he has a vault fin trout in his belly. The elemental fish are actually quite useful for armor upgrades. I'm in up here because I think there's probably a Korok. Oh, no, but a shrine is right over here. I think that's the shrine that's right next to the Lucky Clover Gazette, which is where we've been trying to get to. And we do have some nice pants we can wear in the cold. Harder to reach this from down below. I gotta find a path through the fruit through the weeds. And it's hard to burn it because it's cold here. A launching device. What could be a launching device? Except for a rocket. And actually, I mean, that's not really an ac accurate that a rocket is a launching device. Is it? I mean, I guess you attach it to things to make them launch. But you can also just launch it. I don't know, it just seems weird to call it a launching device. Where are our rockets? Do we actually need to go back into that first room and get them? It's pretty unusual, actually. We need to do this in a perfectly even way. Uh, hmm. I'm actually going to point this straight forward. That's not perfectly even, but it might be even enough. our treasure. Aha! Well, let's see. I think the best way to do this is to make a rocket shoot straight up from underneath. And then we ascend. When we're close enough. So we have to pick a sand real, real fast after we fire this arrow. Actually, we don't need to fire an arrow. We'll do this. Oh, okay. We don't need to ascend. Whoa, 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 whoa. was not the best plan. Actually, I think I could still make it work.
New plan. New plan, we're just gonna... Eat some food because we hurt ourselves. Inside this non-combat shrine, which is... Very unnecessary. I guess that's yep. the simpler way to do this. Hey. We can just run and jump over there from here. Well, that way of doing this is a little bit cheaty, but that's fine. Sometimes in an effort to design the shrines with simplicity in mind, they make them, they make things too close together so that uh, certain things can be exploited. Now, I think we can hit that tower. Well, we can actually glide almost all the way to the tower from right here. So we should probably just head to Rito Village soon. But first... But first, the Lucky Clover. Tracy, our editor's here, is getting ready for our big Princess Zelda investigation. I'm gonna skip a bunch of this dialogue, it's kinda long. New applicant? Yeah, I'm Link, all right. Whole story, I've been looking for Princess Zelda. Yep, yeah, we're gonna help you. <laughs> gonna try to get as much of that froggy armor as we can. Hey! Quickly. Oh. Huh. Ah. Starting now, this guy's your partner, she says. Okay, since we did that, I think now we can go back to this shrine and help the band to awaken the first great fairy. And we got a bunch of mighty thistles, so we should be able to upgrade the barbarian armor right away, which is going to be super Super amazing, fantastic, excellent, incredible. Hip. We'll need to fight some Lynels to get it fully get it upgraded twice. All right, mind going through it all one more time just to make sure I have all the details correct. What happened the night when the great fairy hid herself away? Had our accident, yep, yep, yep. And we need to get to the great fairy. So we're gonna we're gonna help 
the musicians to reach the great oh. fairy over there. Oh. I think all we need to do is attach a towing harness to the... Oh. Wagon. Mm. And then oh. Oh. Mm. take the horse up there. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. Yep. I don't even think. I don't even think the wagon actually needs more wheels. Actually, probably want to prop the wheels up. So I'll try to get the horse to back up and get the uh, harness in place. I just realized this is the back of the wagon, but it's still gonna work. over just a little bit further. This is gonna work. It's gonna be rocking quite a bit, but that's fine. I mean, it's a rough ride, but it's at least gonna stay level, which is what they really care about. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, this video is going to run a couple of minutes long, but it's worth it to finish off with this right here. This is a big moment to be able to upgrade all of our barbarian armor. You know, the great fairies were always kind of fancy, but these ones are something else. Gaudy, I think, is my chosen word for it. Oh! Huh? That's right, Zelda mm. told her to hide back in her bud. At least, somebody who looked like Zelda. <laughs> she thought they left because they didn't like how she played the violin. Why would she think that? There must be some poor communication going on within the stable trotters. Okay, now we can enhance stuff. We have plenty of mighty thistle mm. to get this first upgrade. Looks like we can upgrade a piece of the glide suit, too. Now, if we can find some oh. Lionels, there's a good chance there'll be red Lionels at this point mm. in the game. Which makes it a which would make it a great time to go hunting for Lionels. Mm -hmm. Since we um need red Lionel stuff huh? to upgrade the barbarian armor. Mm -hmm. Alright, what else can we upgrade? Mm -hmm. Anything? Nothing? Oh. Okay, great. Well, if you like this video, please give it a like. Subscribe to my channel uh, so you don't miss any future videos. I'm gonna head back to... Uh, let's see. We wanna wake up another great fairy right away, but I don't know. We don't really need to just yet. Probably better to head toward Rito's stable. So I'm gonna warp there. Anyway, um, check me out on Twitch. Uh, you should be able to see a link to my Twitch channel in the description of this video. I stream on Monday and Wednesday mornings. Look out 
for more episodes of this series coming out every Friday afternoon for the foreseeable future. And uh, thank you for watching. Meteor Bolt has struck.